You may be wondering, what are we doing in the middle of Kenya? Well, back in July, we had gone to see a vintage display of Africa's incredible wildlife, roaming the Masai Mara, Amboseli and Nakuru National Parks for the best animal sightings and travel films. Over the course of seven days, we wandered Kenya's expanse from soaring high above Masai Mara's awe-inspiring landscape to boating in Naivasha's famous hippo lake. Welcome to Nairobi. We landed here this morning from Mumbai, and um, we're starting our city tour here. So we just come to pick up some Indian shillings, and our first stop will probably be the museum. So this is our Indian country, and uh, can't wait to explore. We're going to Masai Mara tomorrow. We are going to Masai Mara. And, uh, we have Bindu and Tintin. Off to Masai Mara. Masai Mara. This is our vehicle. Very excited. Mozambique to the Red Sea, 9,600 kilometers. Ah, a lifelong dream to see this unbelievable geographical wonder. Just look at it. 9,600 kilometers. Unbelievable. Can you believe that? Absolutely mind boggling. Africa's Rift Valley is widely considered one of the world's natural wonders. It is a must-see stop on the way to Masai Mara. Be sure to ask your guide when it comes into view. Its incredible landscape and vastness makes it a popular jeep stop. After seeing the Rift Valley, we began our long journey to the Mara, where before we set out for our game drives, we were at pit stop for lunch at our camp. Okay. 
at what time we'll take breakfast tomorrow morning. Okay. In our rooms, we have electricity, still power. Very good. But because of Kenya power, sometimes it may go off. Okay. When it goes off, we pack up using generator, which runs from 6.30 in the evening to 10 p.m. Then in the morning from 5 to 7. But for today, there is power. I hope it won't go off. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have Wi-Fi, but only in the restaurant. Okay. In the rooms, no Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, so get for charging your phone, they are in the rooms, also in the restaurant. Okay. So you can charge your phone anywhere you like. Good. Okay. In case of any problem, you can let us know, then we can help you. Do we have any vegetarian? Vegetarian, yeah, your wife is... No, yes, she, yeah. Only you. Yeah. You don't use beef, white meat, no meat, eggs. Eggs can still like a meat. Okay. No fish, no meat. Okay, we will sort it out. So, how are you going to stay in your rooms? Two, two. Are the rooms are two in a room, is it? Two doubles mm -hmm. and one two. So we have set up to the game watching. crowd that has emerged because of this lion rumor is insane there are almost 20 jeeps in this locality waiting for a lion to show up the question is will he show up everyone's waiting paid off Just seen a lion in Masai Mara. We are roaming the Masai Mara. We've currently seen three of the big five, and we're hoping to see some rhinos and some leopards soon. It's an amazing experience. So currently, uh, around an hour in through our drive and we just saw the king of the jungle prowling through green jeeps.
Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Look, there it is. It's moved away after it saw us. We're following it now. And there it is. Wow. Beautiful. Hello there. That's a young male that's a female. Oh, they're coming over. Oh, no. Can you both come together? Please come together. Hear the birds making noise from their back. That's the whole set of the lapping. Amazing. Look how they're looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> in Masai Mara. It's absolutely mind-boggling. You can see wildebeest crossing the road Zebras. along with the zebras. Oh, man, Jesus. Beautiful. We've seen so many animals today. We've seen leopards, uh, yeah, no, cheetahs, cheetah, lions, lions, giraffes, buffalo, elephants, zebras. And now we have the pleasure of seeing the wildebeest Ostriches, migration. Vultures. It's absolutely mind-boggling. Amazing. Amazing. these wildebeests who have migrated across the national park and it's unbelievable. They're coming this way. Wow! 
Look at that. Wow, wow. Look at that. Dude, dude. This, this is National Geographic stuff. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Wow, look at that. This cross running in front of us. Wow, look at that. It's not what you see on the National Geographic. Yeah. It's much better. That was a little baby one, look how. Look at that. Look at the one coming this direction. I think that's really from. It's perfect. That's crazy stuff. Listen to the sound of yeah, the Yeah, like let's, let's all be quiet and we can hear let's them. Let's all be a Why don't the other animals also follow, like the deers or the? Because they are under, they are natural. Because they are not in big numbers like this. For them, they are okay with staying in one place. And uh, originally, they are not adapted to walk long distance, like zebras and whatever. Like uh, you say, humans and uh, let's say giraffes, they cannot walk that long distance. I can't believe it. It's absolutely amazing. Did you count how many crows? <laughs> Watching the great migration is a surreal feeling. The sight of all those wildebeests and zebras in parades running behind each other with the background of a Kenya sunset makes for unforgettable scenes. Not everyone has the luck of seeing the migration. Hence, if you wish to see it in Masai Mara, be sure to visit in late July or early August. The Great Migration was no doubt the highlight of visiting the Mara for us and undoubtedly if you can, make sure to plan it in such a way that you can experience it as well. in our camp, the rhino camp in Masai Mara and this is the dining hall of the camp and uh, over here is a bonfire being lit up and then nicely decorated and then we're walking down our uh, Avenue to get to our room, which is number 1975. Over here, the rooms have been named in the form of years. And so, we're walking into Rhino Camp. And this is one of the many lanes for the rooms. And, uh, this is the Very nicely kept. Some camps don't have 24 hour electricity. Our camp has, so we are lucky. And the camps don't have any fans or anything because it's very cool in the Mara in the night. And then we're reaching our room, it's the first one. 
Look, license honeymooners paradise. This is the name of our room. So this is our room. Tintin, open our room. So Tintin will show us how we open the room. It's a tent. It has it's a no tent. Lock. It's a tent. There is no lock. You just have to unzip the the tent, and then the horizontal zip. There you go. And then go inside and switch on the lights. Tintin, you go inside and switch on the lights. Right, so this is our room in Masai Mara and this is a tent with these uh, mosquito nets on the top and there's a bathroom behind that. <laughs> it's very basic but uh, it's an adventure and it's amazing. Somebody has tipped off all the drivers. There might be a lion over here. As you can see, every chief on the game drive is currently waiting here. Let's hope they're right. How did you feel seeing the lion? Amazing. I think the driver paid off one of the rangers. <laughs> Game drives and all the jeeps have been called here because 
somebody again has spotted a bunch of lions which we just saw and we've been insanely lucky with the lions today we've seen four of them of course the ones we saw just now were way healthier than the one we saw initially but that is not the point look he saw african lions it's like mufasa in real life it's reminding me of the sand dunes in dubai
life is strewn with crocs waiting for the wildebeest. Well, those are young ones, there's only the big wow. one. This is over there. There's one there. Yes, the one is around the corner. Yes. One in there. Hippos? I don't know. Do you know, Benjamin, how long a hippo can hold his breath? Five minutes. Mm. My goodness. Mm. He just take up, came up and took a bite. <laughs> There's a crocodile feeding on a wildebeest in the Mara River. Wow. Crazy We are in somewhere in the Masai Mara under a random tree, sitting on a mound which we were scared of because we thought there might be a lion behind it. I checked. <laughs> Eating a packed lunch which we got from our hotel. So there's lots of stuff in the packed lunch, so there's a nice uh, sandwich. I, I don't know what this is. I have banana, uh, apple, a box of juice, yogurt, a nice cake, and a bottle of water. Let's begin. Amazing right. experience. In the middle of absolutely nowhere, not a single <laughs> jeep to be seen, surrounded by a few zebras and our trusty jeep. Eating lunch in Kenya. Cool. <laughs> lunch in the middle of Masai Mara and uh, there's Bindu and Tintin on top of our vehicle and the zebra is far away
cross the road. It's gonna cross the road. So graceful, huh? all of them are. Again, he's staring. seeing a cheetah omg that's crazy he was uh, he was doing what snowy does you know rolling around in happiness So that's two out of two out of five. <laughs> just gonna say. Uh, across where you see the other cars, in in, in the bush here, okay. there is also. It's rush hour in Masai Mara. Look at the volume of vehicles here. And look at the number of wildebeest far away. There are like hundreds and hundreds of them. And just look at that scene. You've got zebras crossing across there. There's the zebras there, walking across. And then the... It's absolutely amazing scenery. It's beautiful. The zebras running. So you've got the wildebeest running now. 
Absolutely stunning. Another one, another one. Must be a pair, a couple. Oh, that's amazing. Sun is setting on the Masai Mara. So we are again somewhere in the Masai Mara, this time at a very low security border between Kenya and Tanzania. Kenya and Tanzania. As you can see, there are two rock mementos over here. One which has the date when this border was apparently made. And the second which has K, E and T, Z signifying where Kenya ends and where Tanzania starts. We're in Tanzania now. <laughs> so that is Tanzania apparently and we can just step across and Sunday we're in Tanzania and uh, quite a popular place couple of jeeps here Tintin is walking across from Kenya into Tanzania. Oh, that's crazy. International border. No entry. And of course, everyone's entering, as is human nature. It is. Yeah. Danger. Don't cross. Amazing. The world is amazing. With a heavy heart, we then said goodbye to the Mara a place that gave us the memories of a lifetime in a mere two days. From the elegant giraffes to the inquisitive zebras, the bold lions and the humongous elephants, the Mara displays wildlife like a museum displays art, in huge numbers and in incredible style. The many jeeps that parade around the Mara, the wildebeests roaming from one plane to another, the orange sun rising and setting above the iconic baobab trees, makes you truly feel like you are in the scene of the Lion King in God's own land in Kenya.